I woke up early one sunny Saturday morning. I decided it was the perfect day to go shopping for a new coat. Winter was approaching fast, and my old coat was falling apart. I needed something warm and stylish to get me through the cold months ahead. I had heard about a new shop downtown that had a great selection of winter coats, so I decided to check it out. I arrived at the shop and was immediately impressed by the window displays. The coats looked warm and inviting, with various colors and styles. I walked inside, and the shopkeeper greeted me with a friendly smile. Good morning. How can I help you today? she asked. I told her I was looking for a new winter coat, and she led me to the back of the store where the coats were displayed. I spent some time browsing through the racks. There were so many options, it was hard to choose. I tried on a few coats, but none of them felt quite right. Then, I saw a coat hanging at the back of the store. It was a beautiful deep blue color, with a soft, thick fabric that looked incredibly warm. I tried it on, and it fit perfectly. It felt like it was made just for me. I decided to buy the coat. The shopkeeper rang up my purchase and handed me the coat in a nice bag. You've chosen a lovely coat, she said with a smile. I thanked her and left the store, feeling very happy with my new purchase. I decided to wear the coat right away since it was a bit chilly outside. As I walked around the city, I felt cozy and warm in my new coat. I put my hands in the pockets and felt something unusual. There was a small bump inside the lining of the coat. Curious, I decided to investigate further when I got home. I returned home and took off the coat, carefully examining the lining. I found a small, neatly sewn pocket inside the lining, barely noticeable. With a small pair of scissors, I carefully opened the stitches. Inside the hidden pocket, there was a piece of folded paper. My heart started to race with excitement and curiosity. I carefully unfolded the paper and read the note. The note said, To the finder of this coat, you have been chosen for a special mission. Go to the old clock tower at midnight and look under the bench by the entrance. You will find further instructions there. Be cautious and trust no one. I couldn't believe what I was reading. It felt like something out of a movie or a book. I sat down, trying to decide what to do. Part of me thought it was a prank, but another part of me was intrigued. I decided to go to the clock tower that night. I had to find out what this was all about. I waited anxiously for midnight to arrive. When the time came, I put on my new coat and headed to the old clock tower. The streets were quiet, and the moon was high in the sky. The clock tower looked eerie in the moonlight. I walked up to the entrance and found the bench mentioned in the note. I looked under the bench and found a small box. My hands were shaking as I opened it. Inside, there was another note and a key. The note said, Well done. Now, use this key to open locker number 17 at the train station. Inside, you will find what you need to complete your mission. I was more curious than ever. I quickly made my way to the train station, which was not far from the clock tower. The station was nearly empty at this time of night. I found locker number 17 and used the key to open it. Inside the locker, there was a small leather-bound book and a magnifying glass. I took the book and magnifying glass and sat down on a nearby bench. I opened the book and found that it was filled with tiny, handwritten text. The magnifying glass was necessary to read it. I started reading, and the book told the story of a hidden treasure that had been lost for centuries. The book detailed the treasure's history and gave clues about its location. I realized that the note in my coat was leading me on a treasure hunt. I felt a mix of excitement and disbelief. Could this really be happening? I decided to follow the clues in the book. The first clue led me to a park in the city. The book described a specific tree in the park, and under a rock near the tree, I found another small box. 
Inside the box, there was a map and another note. The note said, you are on the right track. Follow the map to the next location. I followed the map, which led me to an old library. The library was closed, but I found a way to enter through a side door that was slightly ajar. Inside, I used the magnifying glass to find a hidden message in one of the bookshelves. The message was a riddle, and after thinking for a while, I solved it. The answer led me to an old, abandoned house on the outskirts of town. I reached the house as dawn was breaking. It looked deserted, but I could tell it had once been beautiful. I entered the house and found it filled with dust and cobwebs. Following the clues from the book, I made my way to the basement. There, behind a loose brick in the wall, I found a small chest. I opened the chest with trembling hands. Inside, there were old coins, jewels, and a piece of parchment. The parchment was a letter from a long-lost explorer, explaining that he had hidden the treasure to keep it safe from thieves. He hoped that someone worthy would find it someday. I couldn't believe my eyes. I had found a real treasure. I took a moment to let it all sink in. I felt a mix of joy and amazement. I decided to take the treasure to the local museum, where it could be preserved and shared with the community. The museum staff was astonished by my discovery and thanked me for bringing it to them. I left the museum feeling proud and happy. I knew that buying that coat had changed my life in a way I could never have imagined. From that day on, I always wondered about the person who had hidden that first note in the coat. They had led me on an incredible adventure, one that I would remember for the rest of my life. I went back to my normal life, but with a new sense of excitement and curiosity. I kept the coat as a reminder of my adventure. Every time I wore it, I felt a sense of mystery and possibility. I realized that sometimes, the most ordinary things can lead to extraordinary experiences. As weeks passed, I often thought about the treasure and the journey it had taken me on. I started to wonder if there were more mysteries waiting to be discovered. One day, I decided to visit the shop where I had bought the coat. I wanted to see if the shopkeeper knew anything about the hidden note. I arrived at the shop and was surprised to see that it had changed. The sign was different, and the interior looked completely new. I approached the shopkeeper, a different woman this time. I asked her about the coat I had bought and if she knew anything about the hidden note. The new shopkeeper listened to my story with great interest. That sounds fascinating, she said. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about the previous owner or the coats that were here before. This shop was sold a few weeks ago, and we changed the inventory. I thanked her and left the shop, feeling a bit disappointed. However, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to discover. I decided to look into the history of the old clock tower and the library. Maybe there were more clues connected to the treasure. I visited the local library and asked the librarian for any historical records about the clock tower and the abandoned house. The librarian was very helpful and brought me several old books and documents. I spent hours reading through them, hoping to find something that would lead me to another adventure. In one of the old books, I found a reference to a secret society that had operated in the city centuries ago. The society was known for hiding valuable items and leaving clues for future generations. This intrigued me, and I wondered if the treasure I had found was connected to this secret society. I continued my research and found that the society had used various locations in the city to hide their treasures. Each location had its own set of clues, and only those who were clever and determined could find the hidden items. I realized that my journey might not be over yet. I decided to follow the trail of the secret society. The first clue led me to an old church in the city. I visited the church and looked for any signs of hidden messages. After searching for a while, I found a small symbol carved into one of the pews. It matched a symbol I had seen in the book about the society. I carefully examined the pew and found a small compartment underneath. 
Inside, there was a rolled-up piece of parchment. The parchment contained another clue, written in the same handwriting as the previous notes. It led me to an old bakery that had been in the city for over a hundred years. I visited the bakery and spoke to the owner, an elderly woman who had run the shop for decades. I told her about my quest, and she was very interested. She showed me around the bakery, and together we found a hidden compartment in the floor. Inside, there was a small box containing another clue and a beautiful silver locket. The locket had an intricate design and seemed very old. The clue inside the box led me to a hidden garden on the outskirts of the city. The garden was well hidden, and it took me a while to find it. When I finally arrived, I was amazed by its beauty. It was a peaceful place, filled with colorful flowers and tall, ancient trees. I walked around the garden, looking for any signs or symbols that might lead me to the next clue. As I explored, I noticed a large stone bench with a worn inscription on it. I carefully brushed away the dirt and moss to read the words, Seek the heart of the garden, where the old oak stands tall. I looked around and saw a majestic old oak tree at the center of the garden. I made my way to the tree and began examining it closely. The bark was rough and ancient, and I could feel the history emanating from it. I noticed a small hollow at the base of the tree. Inside the hollow, there was a wooden box, slightly dusty and worn with age. I gently opened the box and found another note in a small, ornate key. The note read, You have come far. This key will open the final door. Go to the old theater on Maple Street and use the key to access the room behind the stage. There, your journey will reach its conclusion. I knew the old theater, it had been closed for years and was rumored to be haunted. Excitement and a bit of apprehension filled me as I made my way there. The building was dark and imposing, with boarded-up windows and a sense of abandonment. I found a way inside through a side entrance that had been left slightly ajar. Inside, the theater was dimly lit and covered in dust. I made my way to the stage, which was eerily quiet. Behind the stage, there was a door with a rusty lock. I took out the ornate key and inserted it into the lock. With a click, the door opened, revealing a hidden room. The room was filled with old props, costumes, and forgotten set pieces from past performances. At the center of the room, there was a large, antique chest. My heart pounded as I approached the chest and lifted the lid. Inside, I found an array of treasures, gold coins, sparkling jewels, and priceless artifacts. There was also a letter on top of the pile. The letter explained that the secret society had hidden these treasures to protect them from those who would use them for evil purposes. It expressed gratitude for my perseverance and trustworthiness in uncovering the treasures. The society hoped that these items would now be used for the greater good, benefiting the community and preserving history. I felt a deep sense of fulfillment as I realized the significance of my discovery. I carefully gathered the treasures and decided to take them to the local museum, just as I had done before. The museum staff was once again astonished by my find and were eager to preserve and display these historical treasures for the public to see. As I left the museum, I couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder at how a simple purchase of a coat had led me on such an incredible adventure. I had uncovered hidden secrets, solved ancient riddles, and found treasures that had been lost for centuries. My life returned to normal, but I was forever changed by the experience. I kept the deep blue coat as a cherished reminder of the adventure. Every time I wore it, I felt a sense of mystery and possibility, wondering if there were more secrets waiting to be discovered. I continued to visit the places that had been part of my journey, the old clock tower, the library, the abandoned house, and the hidden garden. Each visit reminded me of the clues I had followed and the excitement I had felt. I realized that life was full of hidden wonders, waiting to be uncovered by those who dared to seek them out. The experience also inspired me to share my story with others. I wrote about my adventure in a local newspaper, 
hoping to inspire people to look beyond the ordinary and discover the extraordinary. Many people read my story and were fascinated by it. Some even decided to explore the city, looking for their own adventures. One day, I received a letter in the mail. It was from an anonymous sender who had read my story. The letter thanked me for sharing my experience and mentioned that they, too, had found a hidden note in a coat they had recently purchased. They were embarking on their own journey and hoped to find treasures and secrets just as I had. I smiled as I read the letter, knowing that the spirit of adventure was alive and well. I realized that the journey I had taken was not just about finding treasures but about discovering the magic and mystery in everyday life. It was about being open to possibilities and following the clues that life presented. From that day on, I made a promise to myself to always stay curious and never stop exploring. I knew that there were still many secrets out there, waiting to be uncovered by those who dared to look. And who knew? Maybe one day, I would find another mysterious note, leading me on yet another unforgettable adventure.